In these problems, we're being asked to identify whether numbers are rational or irrational. So what do we mean when we say that? Well, I think it's probably best to start by looking at the whole universe of numbers that are out there, and at least in the way mathematicians think of them. Um, you know, first of all, there are imaginary numbers, um, and those are strange creatures. The other side of this is real numbers, and that's mainly what we're concerned about. And real numbers are divided into rational and irrational. So rational numbers are a lot of those numbers you're used to working with. 2, 4.5, 0, those kinds of things. An irrational number is a number that has a decimal part that goes on forever and never repeats itself. So what are those numbers? Well, pi is one of them. If you punch in pi on your calculator, you'll see it says 3.14, etc., etc. Um, and it stops after eight digits or whatever, uh, but that's because your calculator screen only has that many digits. If your calculator screen had an infinite screen, um, it would go on, that number would go on forever. So pi is one to remember. The square root of two is another irrational number. It never repeats itself, and the decimal goes on forever. All right, so let's take a look at some of these. This first one is this negative square root of two. Well, I just mentioned the square root of 2 is one of those numbers, and if you punch it in your calculator, you'll see it, the decimal appears to go on forever and it doesn't repeat itself. Uh, putting a negative sign in front of that doesn't change that fact, so this one is irrational. All right, and next we have the negative square root of 4. Well, you should know that the square root of 4 is 2, so this is actually just negative 2. That is a rational number. So this next one, 7, 3, and then the bar over the 0.93, that means the 0.93 repeats forever. So this is really 73.939393 on into infinity. That is a rational number. The reason it's not irrational, even though it goes on forever, it's a repeating decimal. Those are rational numbers. All right, next we have 19 pi. I mentioned that pi is one of those that has that non-repeating decimal that goes on forever. Uh, multiplying pi by 19 doesn't change that fact, so this is an irrational number. And then finally, we have negative 6.37. That is a plain old rational number. So that's a little bit of work in identifying rational and irrational numbers.